New campers, attention, attention, welcome to camp. Your counselor will call your name and give you your bunk assignments. Have a happy, healthy summer. Cabin number four, Stan Lipton. Stan Lipton. Upper girls, listen up. I need Kathy Ellers. Kathy Ellers. Tom Page. Tom Page. Ann Campbell. Okay, Leo Bartlett. Domingo Ramos. Domingo Ramos. Leslie Reynolds. Hi, Leslie. How are you? Ann Campbell. Ann? Hi. Hi. And Suzanne Freestone. Leo Bartlett? Okay, let's go. They'll bring our baggages later. My name's Sharon. We're going to be spending the rest of the summer together, okay? <laughs> You're all roommates. Let's go. Huh? I'm in hot weather. Feeling like the sunshine shining for me. Hot weather. Take a care to take a care. you save that for later and do your beds now we've got to be at the nurse's office in about 10 minutes for weigh-in what's that for to see how fat you got since last year hey wait a minute guys How come the girls don't have to walk this far? Well, we're closer to the lake than they are, so after they finish swimming, they have to hike back, and we don't. So it all works out even. Lake? What lake? That lake right there. Do they have water skiing here? Well, you'd have to have motorboats for that, and no motorboats on Lake Skywater. Bad for ecology. What's bad for ecology? The gasoline. It spills into the lake and kills the fish. Lake? I don't like lakes. Lakes don't have bottoms. Of course they have bottoms. Don't you know anything? OK, here we are, men. You're home for the summer. Now, there are lower and upper bunks. First ones in, get first choice. Can I use this hook for my guitar? No, that's for swimsuits and towels. Why don't you see if you can find a nail, Kathy? Here's one, Kathy. Do you sell this stuff or what? Do you mind? Do I have to bring this stuff to the nurse's office to tell her I'm taking it? Mm-hmm. Anybody else who has medication, bring it along. Ow! I'm never going to get used to this thing. I don't see why she gets to sleep with Top. I was here first. But the last is the best. Didn't claim your territory fast enough. I wasn't even supposed to be in this bunk. I was supposed to be next door with my friend Peggy. Now I can't even do my sit-ups. Come on, girls, let's move it. You're going to be so tired tonight, you won't care where you lay your bones. Now, we've got to be in the infirmary in exactly four minutes. Are the boys going to be there? Some people just can't keep them off of their minds. Some people just can't mind their own business. And Suzanne, I forgot to tell you, sometimes I wet my bed. Oh, only sometimes. I don't see why it is so important who sleeps on top. That's because you're on top. I bet the boys don't argue about their bunks. I'm not 
sleeping with him on top of me. No way. If he falls on you, squish. You guys think it's so great up here. You should see all the spiders. Hey, don't kill a spider. Spiders don't hurt you. I don't like spiders on my face. Ah, oh, you're such a jerk. You should have taken them outside. See this? This is for bugs. Anybody sees a bug, you tell me, and I'll catch them for you, all right? What do you do with them? I, I watch them. I like to see what they do. You mean you like to see them die? I do not. I feed them crumbs, grass, anything. Then I let them go. Hey, is that your hobby, Domingo? Collecting bugs? Sure, why not? Hey, you! Who told you to touch that? Gee, all I did was... Is this your guitar, man? Okay, guys, let's keep it cool, huh? We're gonna live real tight here. And the number one rule is respect the other guy's property, including his bunk, his clothes, and even his bugs, okay? Okay, let's go, Leo. You need some help? I'm not sleeping there. Okay. If you don't make your bunk now, you'll have to make it later when the rest of the guys are taking the doc test. Are we going on an overnight like they did last year? Were you here last year, Tom? No, but this guy I knew was. He went on an overnight for three days. Oh, the pioneer trip. Yeah, we're going to do that. As long as you can pass the deep water test, you can go. How deep is the water? All the way to the bottom. Oh, shut up. Over by the dock, it's pretty deep, but uh, I don't know how deep. Do the girls go in there, too? Mm-hmm. With us together? Yeah. Ew. Oh, no. Man, look what he's got. Hey, Leo, you better put that stuff in a tin box and lock it. Stan's right. This place will be crawling with wildlife. But I don't have a tin box. Then put it in your suitcase. And uh, give me the key. It's all going to up anyway. Why don't we do him a favor and eat it all now? Leave it alone. OK, guys, let's get with it. Put on your swimming trunks fast. You take your dog test after the weigh-in. Come on. If we go on a hike or something, these are my mega C's in case I get a cold. And these are my... No. No? No. You won't need these, Suzanne. We make sure that all the vitamins and minerals you need are provided in the foods you eat here at camp. You might need some extra iron. Girls your age usually do. So just take one iron pill a day and stick to our meal plan and you'll get everything else you need and more. You're not going to throw them away, are you? No. I'll give them back to you at the end of the summer. By then, you'll probably see that by eating properly, you won't need these. Mrs. Rodriguez said I could help her out sometimes. You know, like be her assistant when we have free time. How neat. I told her I was going to be a doctor. You're kidding. I am, too. Oh, I want to be, oh, maybe a heart specialist, or maybe a brain surgeon. I was more interested in working with animals, like fixing a dog's leg or having a horse be born. Uh. Well, your throat looks clear. You can go swimming, but you sure do have a lot of fillings. You keep your dentist pretty busy, don't you? Yeah, I guess so. You eat a lot of sweets, Leo? Candy? Yeah, I like candy. And soda pop? And soda. And sugar, and sugar, and sugar? What does your dentist say? He says I should brush my teeth after I eat candy. Maybe you could try to do without it here at camp. You wouldn't have to go see your dentist so often if you ate fewer sweets. Maybe you'll be so full after you eat your meals here that you won't... I'm never that full. I always save a little space. 
Sit down and watch what's going on. You can take the test tomorrow. Yeah, maybe. If I don't have a sore throat. Line up right here. All right, I want four of you. You two and uh, you two. All right? When you go in the water today, I got more instructions. Let's go in. You four. Now hold it, hold it. Get on the board. Now kick. Get the legs straight. Be white water. White water. Come on. Let's kick. Let's kick. Let's kick. Let's move it. Move it. Move it. Move it. Move it. Kick. 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 White water, white water! Let's go to the side, touch! Come back! Come on, come on! Kick, kick, you poly walk! She's ahead of you! Let's move it! Move it! Move it. Got a buddy up with Tom. You want to help us out? Sure. We're short two paddle boards. Okay, up at the boathouse, just around the lake. They're laying against the back wall, okay? Okay. Did you finish patching that tube yet? What does it look like I'm doing? Well, I hope it's better than the last patch job you did. Don't worry about it. Son. You're welcome. How come you're not in the water today? Uh, because I got a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Well, why don't you watch? You can learn something by watching. Okay. charcoal boiled steaks. What is that stuff? I've never seen anything like it. What do you think? Is it alive or dead? Come on. You know that's macaroni and cheese. Looks like worms to me. Or someone's guts. Is there any dessert? Yeah, down there. Apples and oranges. Oranges for dessert? Ew. What's that other stuff? Oh, that's barbecue chicken wings. What if you don't like macaroni or chicken wings? Well, they've got salad and cottage cheese over there. I saw it when we came in. Come on, we have to help ourselves. Mmm, fruits and vegetables look fresh. Mmm, it is very fresh. My mother serves us raw vegetables at home all the time. They're so good for you. 
How can you eat that stuff? Why? Don't you like macaroni? Yeah, the way my mother makes it. With red sauce. Not like this. Rabbit food. I'm no rabbit. Funny, you look like one. Ha, ha, ha. Come on, let's go get some salad. What are you, a human garbage pail? I'm hungry. You mean we have to eat with them every day? Maybe it's just for today. Well, are we going to introduce ourselves or what? I'm Stan Lipton. I'm Leo Bartlett. Domingo Ramos. Tom Page. I'm Ann Campbell. Leslie Reynolds. Suzanne Freestone. Kathy Ellers. What's that? A jar. What's in it? Bugs. Ew. There's only ants in it. I once caught a Hercules beetle. Really? I wish I could have caught one of those. Well, maybe if I see one, I'll save it for you. Hey, would you guys cut out the bug talk? I'm trying to eat. You mean you even like this? Sure. Whose muffin's that? It's mine, but you can have it. Really? Thanks. Thanks a lot. Whoa, Tom. Oh, shut up. Zucchini. We grow a lot of it. Where, on your windowsill? No dummy, in our farm. Hmm. It's not bad. But, uh, if you live on a farm, how come you came here? I wanted to go to camp. You wanted to come here? You're crazy. I was on a farm once. It stank. I was always stepping in horse stuff or cow. You mind? We're trying to eat, you know. Is there a salt shaker down there? I don't see any salt. I'm gonna go get some coffee. Anybody else want some coffee? I'll see if I can get some salt. They're not gonna give me any coffee. Hey, what's up, Domingo? Can I have a cup of coffee? Sorry, Domingo, isn't there uh, any milk at your table? Yeah, but I like coffee. That's what I drink. Sorry. I'm no baby. Can I have punch or soda or something? Milk or juice at your table. Crazy place. No salt. No coffee. I couldn't find any salt anywhere. <laughs> What's so funny? what I say? You said you couldn't find any salt, just as I was explaining that we don't have salt on the tables because the chef puts it in the food when he cooks it. And we don't want you to have too much. Yeah, but more salt gives it more flavor. I like it that way. Yeah, but then you're tasting the seasoning and not the food. You try it our way and I bet you'll get to like it. My father says if you don't have salt in the summertime and you perspire a lot, it's bad for you. You might faint or something. Your father's partly right, but what you need are liquids. There's salt in food naturally, and processed foods like packaged breads or canned soups usually have more added. And there's no need for you to put any more salt in your system. It doesn't help, and it could hurt. Just drink plenty of liquids and uh, have fun. That's part of your diet too, okay? This camp has more dumb rules than school. You'll get used to it. I won't. Can we sit at another table tomorrow? This is going to be your table all summer. Oh, oh no. <laughs> hey, look, there's Sharon. Hey, I wonder where that was at. Oh, that was last year's pioneer trip. How many canoes did you have to take? Well, together with the boys, we had eight. If you take him along, you better take nine. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, at least I'm going. Well, so am I. Come on. You can't go unless Mike Perillo says so. Yeah, and you have to pass your doc test first. So? So, I'm just telling you. Yeah, they got star bars. Hey, you think you're gonna run out, Leo? No, I'm just playing in the hay. Uh -huh.
You know, they should have walked that red-haired kid. It was dumb not to walk him. That's okay. We would have won anyway. Did you see Domingo take those bases? He's pretty fast. Say, Domingo. Hey, Domingo. Where is he? Probably bug hunting. I think Kim said he could. Mm. All these bugs are hunting me. See a frog on a leaf at the other end of the lake. Let me see. Here. Mm. How do you focus? Oh, turn that thing slowly. Be careful. Mm. I don't see any frogs. All I see is two girls and... Oh, my gosh! It's Domingo in the lake! Where? Where? Domingo's in the lake! Come on! I don't think he can swim.
Jody. You all right? He's all right. He could have drowned. You know, Steamboat, you really did it. <coughs> Suzanne's the one who saved him. Hey, Domingo, why'd you do it? Because I wanted to learn some strokes. I wanted to swim like you guys. I wanted to go on the Pioneer trip. I wanted to be with you. How about if we all teach Domingo how to swim? With a lifeguard around, I hope. Of course, with a lifeguard. We could, we could take turns being his buddies in the water. And we could each teach him our best stroke. OK, Domingo? Sure. Sure, it's OK. And that means girls, too. Right, Domingo? Everybody. Don't ever pull a stunt like that again. We'll all jump in and hold you down. <laughs> you guys, you're really OK. You're a bunch of OK guys. Rise and shine. Rise and shine, that's the second call. You first, Kim, you're supposed to set the example. Yeah, age before beauty, Kim. Is he out already? Again? My mother's like that. She gets up one, two, not me. I like to get up late and stay up late, like a movie star. 
Morning, good morning, good morning. Second bugle call. No kidding. What are you doing out there so early? Taking pictures of the birds? That's right. Getting up early is for the birds. Yeah, I'm taking pictures of the birds. Morning is the best time to find them. Come on, let's go, guys. Flag raising's in 15 minutes. You take a special camera to do that? Don't touch that. I just packed it away. Okay, okay. Come on, Leo, I'll race you to John. Last one there's a rotten egg. What am I saying? I'm always the last one. You know, he only wanted to see your camera. I just packed it away. Everything okay, Stan? They don't like me, do they? Of course they like you. No, they don't. They think that just because I get up early that I'm different from them. Nobody thinks you're different, Stan. Unless maybe you think that yourself. Well, I don't. And I'm not. Yeah, but I know how Stan feels. I mean, I don't want anybody touching my guitar or my bow jar. I wasn't going to touch it. All I wanted to do was see it. I mean, I'm not going to contaminate it. Maybe he was afraid that if he did see it, you'd want to touch it. Oh, you know what the problem is. He's a jerk. He thinks he knows everything and we know nothing. He does know things. I mean, he's helped me a lot with my diet. You mean he lectures you on what you should eat and what you shouldn't eat? That's what I mean. He acts like he knows it all. Well, he's a nice guy once you get to know him. But that's the problem. He won't let you get to know him. Pancakes, it's about time to have something I like for breakfast. How come they're so dark? Did we get burned pancakes? No, it's whole wheat, I think. Wheat cakes. Where's the syrup? There isn't any. Try some strawberries instead. No syrup, no salt. What type of place is this? I can't eat pancakes without syrup. Would you please try the strawberries? They're sweet. Maybe the syrup's in here. That's my sculpture. Can I see it, Kathy? I was hoping it would be a flower pot, but I don't know. Maybe you can sell it to a museum. An art museum? No, a science museum. You can say it fell from outer space. <laughs> <laughs> She's just a beginner, you know. I think it's very nice. It's hard to make a good pot. When I took ceramics in school, all they had to do was make snakes. I could help you with this if you wanted. Oh, would you? Um, I want it to be ready for Sharon's birthday. When's that? Friday. We gotta talk to you boys about it. But not now. Someone might hear. We'll meet outside right after breakfast, okay? Stan, can I have the juice after you, please? Take more. We can always get seconds. I don't want any more. Okay. I love juice. It's funny. I just noticed. You don't eat very much. Are you on a diet? No, I'm just not very hungry in the mornings. I usually have a yogurt and some fresh fruit for breakfast. Ooh, where'd the cereal come from? It's mine. I just want to see it. What for? To see how much sugar's in it. It's all right if there's a little, but this kind's too much. I've heard of a sweet tooth, but you must have sweet roots by now. Leo, do you know what that stuff does to you? Yeah, I love it. You may as well pour milk over a bunch of sugar cubes. I had that for lunch yesterday. Leo, it's not funny. You could ruin your teeth. Look. I don't have time for a lecture, Professor. I have a hot match against the number two seated player, number one being me. You're playing Sharon? He must be good. He won't be for long if he keeps eating that stuff. He'll get all fat and he won't be able to run, just like, uh, Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> we'll meet you down at the courts after cleanup. Hey, Kathy, what do you want me to help you with your pot? I'll uh, hold it, gang. Come back. We want to talk to you about Sharon's birthday. We were thinking of having a surprise birthday party for her. With lots of goodies. We thought maybe we could make a birthday cake. Make it a chocolate cake with chocolate icing. And we could have ice cream. And soda. I know how to make fudge. Oh, yeah, 
fudge. I love fudge. What else? Well, uh, how about fresh vegetables in a dip? Cauliflower, carrots, celery, things like that. Raw vegetables? I don't like them anytime, especially not at a party. Well, I don't like fudge and cake. Aw, uh, don't be a party pooper. Don't spoil it, Stan. Don't start again. You two have already had one fight today. Don't worry. I won't. Maybe I won't even go to your stupid party. Then you'll have a really good time. Boy, he really spoils everything. Why? Because he doesn't like the things that you like? Why are you always fighting? We don't fight with him. He fights with us. He doesn't like us, and he doesn't want to be friends at all. You don't help, you know, party pooper, just because he doesn't want the guac you two wanted. I've had vegetables and dip, and I happen to like it. I still think he has problems. Just a little pooped. Well, you want to call it a game? Yeah, we better. Okay, anybody else want to play? Oh, uh, I can't play that. Come on, I'll show you how to serve. Leo, can we use your racket? Sure, go ahead. I warned you about eating only sugar for breakfast. Your energy doesn't last. I'm going to warn you, Stan. Get off my back. Here goes. What do you see? Hard candy. Can I have one? My father would call this a clear case of incriminating evidence. It just fell out of Stan's jacket. Stan's jacket? If there's anything I hate, it's a liar and a sneak. Hey, you shouldn't say that. He's always sneaking in little snacks when he thinks no one's looking. That's true. I mean, he hides crackers in his bag. And he never shares them. And he's always lecturing me about sugar and look. He's a liar and a sneak. Watch the birdie. And the show off. Hawks, <laughs> you're late. Buddy up, you guys, and get in the water. Hey, Leo, want to be my buddy? No, I don't want to be your buddy. Hey, Tom, you want to buddy up with me? Sure. Is he angry at me? What did I do? Well, he says you do one thing, and you say another. Like what? Tell me. You eat candy, and you tell everybody else not to. How did he? Oh, never mind. You wouldn't understand. Look, are you going to be my buddy or not? I guess so. There's nobody else to go in with. Well, thanks. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna give myself a beauty treatment for that irresistible macho look. Oops, I forgot my socks. I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. Oh, are you gonna take a shower? Uh, yeah, sure, I'll be there in a minute. Want me to wait for you? No, that's okay. Okay, okay go ahead.
still goofing around in the boat. You know, I don't think he's ever taken a shower with us. Maybe he just doesn't want us to see him naked. Ooh, don't look. <laughs> you know, sometimes I think that he just doesn't want to be with us. Yeah, like he's too good for us. <laughs> saw him shoot up and hide the needle in a waste paper basket. Well, where does he keep the stuff, the heroin stuff? In his camera case, but I think he uses his thermos for something. You know, that's probably why he had the candy. Drug addicts eat a lot of candy. It's sort of like a craving. I think you guys are way off track. Stan's no junkie. Look, I saw him shoot up, just like a guy that lives around my corner. I saw him shoot up once in my alleyway. Just like Stan. That needle. You saw him throw it in the wastebasket. Well, then it's probably still there. We've got to get it when Stan's not around. Well, we've got to tell somebody. That's our only proof. Suzanne's right. And whoever we talk to, we better make it fast. I mean, he might take an overdose. Somebody should be with him at all times. I'll stay with him. I won't let him out of my sights. OK, right after supper, we'll get the needle. And Tom, you make sure Stan doesn't get near the bunk. Maybe we can get him to play ping pong. He likes that. Cool, he's coming. Don't let on about anything. And don't even look at him funny. Stan, are we still having ping pong tonight? Oh, do we have a game? OK. I'll play the winner. Let's play doubles, OK, with you, Stan? Sure, I love ping pong. <laughs> Domingo? Didn't you find it yet? I got it. I've got the needle. But I want to see what's in the camera case. Hey, Stan. Wait up. You know I can't run that fast. I'm only going to get my sweater. Why didn't you wait for me at the rec call? I just like being with you. Do you mind? <laughs> well, no, but it's almost like you're shadowing me. Oh, I'm not. Coming. What's he doing back here? Shut the case, hurry. But I have it, the thermos. Leave it, shut the case. Hi, what's up? Oh, hi. I thought you had a ping pong game. Uh, yeah, we do. I just came back from my sweater. <laughs> Let me in. What's going on? Nothing. Go on in. Did you French my bed? Did I what? French my bed. Put mustard on my sheets. Put mustard on your sheets? Why would I do a crazy thing like that? It's something kids do in camp. Oh. Why don't you look and see? Come on, Domingo, before he really finds out what you did to his bed. You gotta meet the girl. Oh. You know, if he did something, I sure can't figure out what it was. I don't think he did anything to your bed. Probably just wanted me to make it over again. But they were up to something. First, I want to thank you, and I appreciate your concern for Stan. But I'm afraid he'd be very upset if he found out you were here and that you had found this. You mean you knew he was giving himself shots all along? Yes, but it's insulin, not heroin. He's a diabetic. So that's what he was trying to hide from us. Why did he try and keep it such a big secret? 
That's a problem you might be able to help him with. He's had this condition for a short time, less than a year, and he's very self-conscious about it. He doesn't want special treatment or people to think he's different. What's a diabetic? Someone with diabetes. It's a condition that occurs when your body can't make enough of something called insulin. What Stan was taking. Right. Without insulin, sugar can't enter into your cells to be used as fuel. Without fuel, you don't have energy, you don't grow, you don't develop. So Stan gives himself injections with a disposable syringe like this. And he takes it twice a day, so that way he gets the full benefits from the foods he eats. Is that why he eats so carefully? He practically measures everything. He has to be careful about what he eats and how much he eats. But that should be a part of any good health program. You should be more careful about what you eat, Leo. You just say you need sugar in your cells. Fruits, bread, and rice, and a lot of foods you eat have sugar in them. But they also have minerals and vitamins and nutrients your body needs to keep running. Candy and cookies are mostly empty calories your body doesn't need. I guess Stan was just trying to help me. Mm-hmm. I bet he was right about the other things, too, about gaining weight and getting cavities. That's right. If you eat too much sugar, you can increase the chances of getting cavities, and you probably will gain weight if you don't exercise. But Mrs. Rodriguez, Leo found candy in Stan's pocket. If he can't eat it, why does he have it? It's not that he can't eat sugar. It's that he has to regulate how much he eats and balance the amount of insulin with sugar. If he goes on a hike or swimming, he needs more energy. So he takes that extra sugar to get that energy. How come he doesn't give me energy? Stan has a little. You eat a lot of sugar. And with cookies, cake, and ice cream, you get a lot of fat, too. Leo, you have such a handsome outside, but think of what you're doing to your inside. Imagine all those globs of fat and sugar gushing through your insides. Leo, you might become the incredible glop. That's not funny. Well, Leo's not going to let that happen. He's going to cut down on the sweets and make room for the foods his body needs, right? I'll work on it, but give me time. Good enough. End of lecture. I'll have to tell Stan you know. I broke my promise to him. But I'm sure he'd rather have you know the truth than think he's a drug addict. Just don't make a big thing of it or ask a lot of questions. We won't. But there's one other thing. We were planning a birthday party for Sharon. And Stan got mad at us. Do you think it was because we wanted a lot of sweet things he couldn't have? He probably felt left out. What can he have? Why don't you ask him? Mmm. Uh, uh, uh. Forget it, Tom. Here's one. The no sugar, no flour, no eggs, no shortening pie. What's it made of? Mud. It's a mud pie. Ha ha. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Domingo. You say anything you like, Stan? Oh, yeah. I'm looking for, uh... Here it is. Carrot cake. It's delicious, and Sharon loves carrots. You really mean a cake made out of carrots? I thought you couldn't have cake, Stan. This is a recipe that doesn't need much sugar. And you can eat it without feeling guilty, Leo. It's not just empty calories. It's got good food value, too. Are you sure you can eat it? You said it had some sugar in it. I have to watch my whole calorie intake, not just the sugar. If I'm careful about what I ate at dinner, I can have a small piece. That won't give me too much. Well, why not? Let's try it. Carrot cake and the mango sherbet. Mmm. I never ate a mango. Well, here's your big chance in honor of Sharon's birthday. And it has no sugar. I could have a second helping, right? Oh, uh, sure. And it's healthy, too. Oh, boy, this is beginning to sound like a great party. Where are we going to get all these ingredients? We can get most of the stuff from the camp kitchen. And Kim said he'd take our bunk into town tomorrow to pick up some party balloons and some paper plates. Maybe we could get some mangoes. So? Yeah. You picked the good ones, Domingo. I wouldn't know how. applesauce for the carrot cake. But this has sugar in it. What do you think? Well, uh, my mother usually makes her own sauce. She buys fresh apples. And she adds cinnamon and raisin for flavor. I never thought of that. Well, we have apples at the camp. Oh, great. What will science think of next? Applesauce from fresh apples. Look at this. 
beef noodle soup. And it has sugar. Ketchup. Tomatoes, vinegar, sugar. Baked beans. And it has sugar in it. Almost everything has sugar. You need sugar to make some things. Try baked beans without it. You put sugar in beans? My mother never did that. That's the recipe. I read that you need sugar and ketchup, too. Some things need sugar for the flavor. I guess that's OK. At least we know what we're getting. But peanut butter? Look at some of these other labels. We're getting a lot of sugar we don't want. Well, at least it tells you on the label. I wonder if my mother reads these labels. Pickles. And it has sugar. Even sour things have sugar. Hey, you guys ready? Have you found what you want? Yeah, we found a few things we didn't want, too. All right. Remember all the things I told you. You can start now. Carrot cake is the cake to bake And the mango shake is the chocolate shake Candy gives you a belly ache So for your stomach's sake Give yourself a break And eat good food 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 <laughs> Well, carrot cake is the cake to bake There's a bowl to stir, there's an egg to break Blend it, give it a little shake Make no mistake, it's the cake to make it All good food, all good food So we eat good food No tasting How do you know if it's good? Because the ingredients are good Kids, it looks uh, ready now You can pour it into the pan You pour it, Stan <laughs> Here it goes. You know, that's the first cake I ever baked. Me too. You know, I think baking a cake is almost as much fun as eating one. I said almost. Okay, the rest of you kids can do the cleanup now. Cleanup? Sure. Making the cake was the hard part. Now comes the fun. Not supposed to be here. It's out of bounds. They're gonna lose their privileges for it. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> oh, gee, I was just gonna buy you out. How did you know? Kim told us. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sharon. Happy birthday to you. I have to make a wish, right? <laughs> <laughs> supposed to talk you're supposed to eat it's too beautiful to cut it's a carrot cake oh great come on let's dig in come on make room out of the way before this melts oh what is it ice cream ice cream this is mango sherbet mango sherbet I tell you no one has ever had a birthday party like this <laughs> Stan yes of course I have a small piece and I'll have a small piece too When I finish, Leo, just a small piece. Mm. Carrot cake, mango sherbet. Hey, you kids are really something special. I'm in hot weather, feeling like the sunshine shining for me. Hot weather, I'm taking care of me.
Don't you? We're all hawks there, the girls and us. Let's go. We have to start practicing if the hawks are gonna win. I never won anything in my life. I'll teach you. Come on. One mile run, standing broad jump, 50 yard dash, cross country race, 440 yard run, and relay. Standing broad jump. Leo? I don't know. I'll put you on the relay team. Anybody else want to be on the relay team? I gather you think you're the coach of this team. Sure, why not? Because we haven't voted on it. Besides, what are your qualifications? What do you mean qualifications? Running is running. It's not that simple, Domingo. What do you know about? A lot. She's on her school track team. Her qualifications are better than yours. I think Suzanne should be coach. Yeah. What does a girl know about being a coach in Olympic Day? There are plenty of women coaches at the Olympics. Yeah, Suzanne's mother even ran in the Olympics. Well, I don't want no girl telling me how to run. Let's vote. Yeah, all in favor of Suzanne coaching the Hawks say aye. Aye. All in favor of me? Aye. aye. Four to three in favor of Suzanne. Tom, you want a girl coaching us? I don't care. I'm dying anyway. Four to four, it's a tie. Tell you what, Domingo. You and Suzanne run down the field and back. Whoever wins is coach, okay? Come, Come on, on. Come on. Keep doing it. On your mark! Get set. Go! Go! to work, you guys. We have to work hard and we're going to have to work together. Everybody has to take their own part and uh, work with it. But first, I think we need a trainer, someone who can keep us all in condition. Anne wants to be a doctor someday. Yeah, she's already working with the camp nurse. That's good. Uh, any other nominations? No. All in favor of Anne is team trainer. Ah, aye. Aye. <laughs> That's really good. But there's one other important job to be filled. It's a job of someone who has to Set a good example to keep us on our toes. We need a team captain. I nominate Domingo for captain. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Sure. That's good. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Lunch. <laughs> 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 if he can run that fast on Olympic Day, we're gonna have the best. 
best team in the camp. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Come on. Tapeworm or something? You already had seconds. I hate to see good food go to waste. You can eat your dessert? You can have it. Gee, you hardly eat anything. I eat until I'm full, then I stop. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the food here is getting better all the time. Your mouth has died. I like it. It's not like at home, but... I don't even know what I'm eating most of the time. I mean, what's a blintz? Blintzes are good. Haven't these people ever heard about rice and beans? Rice and beans together. I could go for some fried bananas. Your mother fries bananas? They're the best. Sounds weird to me, but I'll try anything once. Hey, Hawks! The Tigers are gonna beat me on Olympic Day. Oh, yeah? I don't see any superstars on your team. Want to bet? Hawks against the Tigers? Buck ahead. Eight dollars to the winning team. You got it. Wait, Domingo, I don't think we should. The camp strictly prohibits the wagering of money. What if we bet something else? Like whoever loses has to clean up the other team's cabins for a week. That's really dumb. No, that's great. I hate to make my bed. Whichever team gets the most points wins. You got it. I think it's dumb, too. I don't make my bet anyway. Everyone has to compete. If Swifty doesn't run, you win the bet. Swifty? Who's Swifty? I wonder if there's a dessert left over. Good afternoon, Anne. What brings you here? It's not your day to work with me, is it? I've been elected our team trainer for Olympic Day, and I was wondering if you had any books on how to get a team in condition. Not here, but the library in town might have some. What exactly should I look for? Why don't you try a nutrition textbook and look under physical conditioning or athletics or, or exercise? Thank you. Find anything? It says here that if you eat only sweets for breakfast, like sugared cereals or donuts, your body will burn it up too fast and you won't have enough energy to last you until lunchtime. That's not what it says on TV. You shouldn't believe everything you see on TV commercials. It says right here that some breakfast cereals are 50% sugar. That's almost like eating candy for breakfast. So, what you learn? Leo has to eat more. And all of us have to be careful not to put so much sugar on our cereal in the morning. Yeah, and Tom has to go on a diet. He's too fat. Hey, Tom's not so fat. Last summer, I had a kid who was five feet tall, lying on his stomach. <laughs> The beginning of good health is good diet. We all have to be mo more careful about what we put into our bodies. We should think of our bodies as a car, a sports car, a racing car, a Jeep. Food is our body's fuel. If we put the wrong kind of gasoline in our car, its engine won't run the way it should. If we put the wrong kind of food in our bodies, they won't run right either. The wrong fuel can ruin your car. The wrong food can ruin our bodies. You can buy a new car, but you can't buy a new body. Oh, yeah? What about the $6 million man? You gonna eat your dessert? They gave us a balanced diet here. But we still should be more careful. I suggest we stop eating desserts. No desserts? Well, except fresh fruit, of course. Tom? I heard 
38 mine. Get your knees up higher. Get them up higher, Stan. You can cover more ground with less energy with your knees up high. And the more energy you save, the further you can run. It feels silly. <laughs> I know it's not a natural movement, so you gotta keep practicing. My mother taught me to practice by holding my hands out in front of my waist, bringing my knees up to touch my palms. Try it, it'll help. Okay, Hawks, we've got to get in shape. Running right, exercising right, and eating right. And we're going to win, right? Right. right. All right. First, we're going to start with some warm-up exercises, like we warm up our car before we drive it. All right. We're going to warm up our bodies before we run. I'm beginning to feel like a used car. All right, ready? Jumping jacks. One, two, 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 one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Rock back and forth before you jump. But the rules are both feet have to leave the ground at the same time. You're off balance. Try and land leaning forward. Don't let your hands go higher than your shoulders. Keep them lower, Stan. Get your knees up high, Tom. Let your arms swing. Relax. Let your arms hang loose. Go. Remember, dropping the baton won't disqualify the team, but it'll sure slow us down. Let's try it again. Tom, you try it this time. Swifty? Are you Swifty? Yeah. Swifty. The Tigers are right. We'll never win with him. And we have to cut up between meal snacks like candy and soda. If we get hungry, we can eat an apple or carrots or something that's good for us. Some of us have special problems. Leo poops out because all he eats for breakfast is sugary stuff. It's for quick energy, quick to come and quick to go. You have to eat a breakfast that'll stick with you. It'll help your body get strong. Foods with vitamins, minerals, and proteins in them. Like whole grain cereal or bread with peanut butter or cheese. You can eat the rest of your lunch? Can I have it? No, you can't. Leo has to start eating his meals, not leaving them on his plate. You have to stop eating so much sugar and start eating food that's good for you, so you'll be strong enough to run for us on Olympic Day. I don't like the food here. Hey, listen, man, I'm not crazy about it either. But I eat it because I'm captain of the team, and you're going to eat it because you're part of the team. I like it. I like it. It's my fuel. I got to gas up. Where you going, Tom? Seconds. Come back and sit down. From now on, no more seconds. But I need my fuel, too. You had enough fuel the first time. Hey, Swifty, what event are you running? I can crawl faster than you can run. Why don't you guys just leave us alone? We've got work to do. Sure thing, coach. They're right. I can't run. Sure you can. Your only problem is that you're carrying too much extra weight. You mean I'm fat. You don't have to be, you know. Yeah, you could go on a diet. Olympic Day is just a week away. I can't lose anything in a week. Yes, you can. Well, at least you can start. For every pound you lose, you'll be able to run that much faster. You're part of the team, aren't you? Yeah. Then you gotta try. You have to cut out eating so many sweets between meals, like candy, soda, cake, cookies. No more snacks except apples, celery, or carrots, and no more desserts or seconds until you get your weight down. I'll be an old man by then. You're a hawk, man. If the trainer says you eat, you eat. If the trainer says you don't eat, you don't eat. <sighs> Go. Come on, hawk. 
it's practice time. Let's get going. Hands at your side. Slowly lift them six inches off the ground and then spread them back together and down. All right, let's do it again. Think about going up, and going out will take care of itself. Good. Okay, Tom. Go. Slightly cupped. Your thumb should be held away from your fingers to form a V. That's the passer's target. Let's try it. Come on, you come guys. On, go right, come on, Greg. I need something to eat. You're not hungry. You only want to eat because you're feeling bad. Let's try it again, Tom. You can do it. You're getting better all the time. Hey, Nat, lay off of Tom. Why should I? Because he didn't do anything to you. You want to show how great you are? Do it at the race. What are you running in? Cross country and relay. I thought you were a broad jumper. Suzanne thinks I'm a better runner than a jumper. That's right. You've got a girl coach. What does she know? Listen, man, you think you're so great? Why don't you race her? She's running the 440. Ah, beating a girl doesn't take much. You afraid? Are you kidding? I'll race her. But it'll be no contest. I was hungry. You're never going to lose any weight if you keep eating this stuff. I'm going to lose weight anyhow. Yes, you will, if you keep trying. It's not going to happen overnight, you know. You're letting the team down. I quit the team. on the team. Listen, my father told me to always do my best. You can't win all the time, but it's important to try. If you don't try, then you've already lost. When I run, I just look dumb. You're getting better. You're losing weight. Not enough. 
If you don't race, we lose the bet with the Tigers. I'm not going out there to be laughed at. But that's what they want, to make you quit. Just ignore them. Maybe they're right. Maybe they should laugh. I can't run. I can't even pass the baton without dropping it. Don't give up. Don't quit the team. And if you've got change for a dollar, I need a soda. Look, maybe you can quit on the team, but you can't quit on yourself. Come and watch. Hey, where's Swifty? He's not feeling very good. He's sick. If Swifty doesn't run, the Hawks lose the bet. Yeah, we know. have 10 and the Tigers have 10. If we win the relay, we've beaten them. Not without Tom. Without Tom, we've lost. Don't drop the stick! 
Don't let them bug you. I'm glad you're here, Tom. I'm hungry. It's just nerves. Don't think about food. Think about the race. Hey, Swift, I left my bed unmade just for you. Lucky to have a good coach, a good trainer, a good team, and a good diet. Next year, we'll be you even worse. <laughs> Next year, you won't even be able to get off the starting block. You'll weigh 400 pounds. No, I won't. I'm sticking to the team's rules. No more sweets, no more seconds, no more junk food snacks. I'm going to try my best, like Leo's dad said. If you don't try, you've already lost. And trying makes me feel good about myself. I guess that's pretty important, too. Tom, you're gonna make it. Call me Swifty. I wouldn't have done it. You can't go volunteering my time, Leo Bartlett. 
Yeah, we might have other things we want to do. I thought it might be fun. Writing a newspaper is not our idea of fun. We're only going to do one edition. I'm sorry. Sorry? You ruin our lives and all you can say is sorry? Move it or lose it. Excuse me, where can I find the cook? Mr. Rios, he's in the back. The one at the desk. But don't call him a cook. He's a chef. Mr. Rios? What's the problem? The cucumbers were too soft. You are allergic to tuna salad. Your mother won't let you eat sweet potatoes. Hmm? These potatoes are for baking, not mashing. Look, you've bruised them. How can you bruise a potato? They are delicate. All vegetables are tender. They must be treated with care and affection, not like baseballs. Delicious. Hmm. You smell the aroma. <laughs> and you tell me that my meals are no good. Who are you to tell me, who has devoted his entire life to the art of cuisine, that my meals are no good? I like the food here. You're not here to complain? No, sir. Feeding 300 campers is not easy. You, you can't please everybody. I like your meals. That's why I'm here, to get next week's menu. Next week's menu? What, what for? It's personal. You, you really like my cooking? The scrambled eggs that I had this morning were the best I ever tasted. Uh, uh, next week's menu. Mm. Yes, it's, it's, it's here someplace. Tonight, we're having Spanish carrots. Nobody makes Spanish carrots like Manuel Rios. At least not for 300 people. Thank you for the menu. <laughs> Henry, where is the receipt for the pickles? I need the pickle prices. It's not enough to be a chef. You have to be a bookkeeper, too. It's too much. We don't know anything about putting out a newspaper. And we don't care. You will when you're a famous ballerina. And don't you want your picture in the sports page when you win the Olympics? I've already had my pictures in the newspaper. Once. <laughs> Won't you help me? I can't do it alone. How much time will this take? Not much. We'll have to print a few stories about the camp. Shall we vote on it? What do you think? I think I don't want to do it. Leo is our friend. Maybe we should help him out. It won't kill us, I guess. Um, is everyone in favor with helping out Leo with the camp newspaper? For just one edition. Aye. Me too. I guess so. OK. Well, if everyone else is willing. Great, I'll make it unanimous. I suppose you want to be editor, and we'll be your reporter. We're going to put out the best paper this camp ever had. Remember, we're only doing it because we're friends. And don't ever volunteer our time again without asking us first. Hey, Tom, what about he didn't get to vote? Where is Tom, anyway? He had something to do. What? He wouldn't tell us. cold or something. <laughs> a cold in this weather? Yeah. My mother says the summer cold's the worst kind. What the nurse give you for it? Nothing. Then what were you reading? Don't be nosy. We have to be. We're reporters now. And so are you. Come on. We've got a deadline in here. Something's wrong, Manuel. Your expenses have nearly doubled since last season. <laughs> it's inflation. The prices go up. Double? You think we're not careful? You think we're wasting food, huh? No, but... Uh... Then what? What do you think? I don't make the prices. I don't make inflation. I make dinner. Maybe some of the help is... Uh... <laughs> is what, huh? Is stealing? Is that what you think? I'm not accusing anybody of stealing. Or wasting. 
or wasting or anything. I just want to be sure you're being careful with the food budget. I am the most careful chef in the world. And if you do not believe this, then you cook yourself. Where do you put the ink in? Right here. Looks messy. Not if you're careful. Okay, but it takes more than a mimeograph machine to make a newspaper. We have to have some stories to print. Yeah, and where do we get them? There should be something that interests everybody. Well, my father reads the sports page first. Yeah, everybody's interested in sports. I'm not. You want to be a dancer? You can be our entertainment editor. You can do a story on a camp show. Okay. Susan, you can cover the sports beat. The sports what? The sports beat. That just means you write about sports. I'll cover the gossip beat. I don't think gossip is a beat. You'd be a society editor. Miss Ann Campbell of Cabin 4 had a group of friends over last Friday. I'll be our official photographer. We can't print pictures on a mimeograph machine. Oh, that's OK. I'll be our photographer anyway. Tom, why don't you be our food editor? What do I have to do? You have to find a good story about the food at camp, and you have to ask the five W's. The five what? You know the five W's. Weenies, waffles, whipped cream, walnuts, and watermelons. Very funny, Stanley. The five W's are who, what, when, where, and why. Every good news story has to answer those questions. Okay, time for me. Oh, my One, two, three. Here he out of there. <laughs> With a vegetable or two, you'll feel like running around the block. With a piece of food, your energy will take you around the clock. When is the talent show going to happen? Hey, who's on your water basketball team? What are you going to wear to the masquerade contest? Why does poison ivy make you itch? When are we going on our 10 mile hike? shots of the sparrows that nest next to our cabin. They just hatched babies. What are we going to do with pictures? We can't print pictures. We need stories. Did anybody get any stories? I got a story on a water basketball game. What did you find out? It's very difficult to dribble in the pool. I tried to find out what the kids are going to wear to the masquerade contest, but they wouldn't tell me. Why not? Because I wouldn't tell them what I was going to wear. I wouldn't have told you either. You know, it spoiled the surprise. We need a big story for the front page. All newspapers have something important on the front page. Like a fire or a flood. Hey, Captain Seven had a flood. What happened? Their plumbing backed up. Oh, great. I'm not going to have any headline that says toilet overflow. Well, everybody got out safe. Tom, did you get anything? Next week's menu, a real scoop. <laughs> It will be old news by the time we print it. I'll do a story on Mr. Rios. The camp cook. Our chef. It doesn't sound very interesting, but we have to fill the paper with something. Go ahead and do it. <laughs> explain the size of this bill. I was just speaking to the people at Camp Wild Oak. Their expenses don't come anywhere near this. Now, I don't expect you to cut the quality of your menu, but I do think... But you think that we are being wasted, huh? That someone is stealing? No, of course not. Everyone is honest in my kitchen. I was just a little upset. I'm sorry. I work hard to feed the kids a good, nutritious meal, and nobody appreciates me. Well, Manuel Rios will not serve poor food. 
Manuel Rios will not be accused of wasting. Manuel Rios quits. You can find yourself another chef. Manuel! Manuel, wait! Wait! Leo! Leo! We got our story. The camp chef quit. He had a fight with Mrs. Riggs and quit. Great! Camp chef quits. Fights with Mrs. Riggs. Just what I've been looking for, a scoop. Hey, where are you going? Classify W's. Hey, just my scoop. Get your own story. Hey, Leo, we've been looking all over for you. How come you're out of the paper? We got our scoop. Camp chef quits. Manuel Rios? This is my story. What's going on? The camp chef had a fight with Mrs. Riggs. And she fired him. Hey, Kathy, did you hear the camp cook hit Mrs. Riggs? I bet the police are on the way right now. Will they arrest him? He'll probably get 10 years. <laughs> Lunch yesterday was worth five at least. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't hit anybody and he wasn't fired. He had an argument and quit. If you're going to be reporters, you have to get your facts straight. Whatever happened to freedom of the press? OK, OK, where do you think you're going? It's my story. I thought there might be a society angle. In the kitchen? I'm gonna take pictures. Why should you get the big story? I want to be here when the cops come. You need all the help you can get, Leah. Even Walter Cronkite didn't get this much help. A little early for dinner, aren't you? We're here to get a story for the camp newspaper. We heard Mr. Rios had been fired. Quit. Where did you get an idea like that, Leo? It was Tom's story. I'm just here checking out the facts. I heard you and Mr. Rios a little while ago. Oh, he resigns nearly every day. Luckily, he never means it. I don't know what I'd do without him. But you seem so upset. Yeah, I guess I was. You've no idea how expensive it is to feed 300 campers and feed you the right food. I guess we don't have a story. Well, now, wait a minute, Leo. Maybe you do. Uh, what if you write an article about the difficulty of feeding 300 campers properly and staying within our budget? My mother says it costs a fortune just to feed our family. I have an idea. What if you do my shopping for me this week? Uh, spend what I would normally spend to feed my family and uh, see how well you can do. Um, and still come up with a well-balanced menu. I'd rather do a story on feeding us here. It's a bigger story. Well, why not do both? Yeah, why not, Leo? All right, let's get to work. Does Mr. Rio really quit every day? You have to understand something, Tom. Mr. Rios considers cooking as an art, and artists sometimes tend to be a little temperamental. How far in advance do you have to plan? Two weeks. Do you have to go shopping every day? Not every day, but often. You can't buy vegetables and fruits too far in advance and expect them to stay fresh and good for you. you're going to a supermarket. Oh, I prefer to buy from the local farmers when I can. Now look at all the things we can get here. Carrots, zucchini, green beans, Brussels sprouts. Those are Brussels sprouts? Red onions, Spanish onions, corn, green peppers, tomatoes, cauliflower, cabbage, spaghetti squash, dill, potatoes, fresh fruit. The vegetables at the supermarket are good, but here they're fresher. This is a pretty dumb way to get a story. We're investigative reporters. 69 cents a pound for green beans? Can we get canned? Fresh tastes better, and they're not as soggy. Let's skip it. I don't need them anyway. You should. Nothing but munchies. I'm only getting a week's worth. 
We gotta put all this back. Even the corn chips? They're too expensive. Too many calories, and I don't think they're good for you. Put them back, Domingo. We're supposed to be having well-balanced meals. But these aren't for meals. These are for in-between meals. If you need a snack, you should eat something that's more nutritious, like peaches, plums. How can you tell if they're right? Yeah. Color, firmness. If they're green, they're not ripe. They have no taste. If they're too soft, they're overripe, and then they'll go bad soon, I'll have to throw them out. Waste my money. What are you looking for? What are we looking for? You always check to make sure none of the eggs are cracked. Oh, broken eggs. Ah. Why is this called a truck farm? Some people think it's because the uh, truck farmers bring the vegetables to market in a truck. That's not it, though. See, uh, before cars were invented, the word truck meant to trade, you know. I give you this, so you give me that. Well, originally, at a truck farm, you were able to trade for vegetables. How do you know that? I looked it up. I'm a reporter, remember? <sighs> this looks like a big garden to me. You don't need as much land to grow vegetables as you do to grow wheat and grain crops. And on a small truck farm like this, you can give all the vegetables the tender love and care they need. apples are expensive. They should be. They come from the West Coast. These are locally grown, so they cost less. And I bet you they're just as good for you, too. Now you're beginning to learn something. Picking apples off the tree. Take a bite and slap your knee. Laugh it up, we're having fun. Picking apples in the sun. Say it tastes better if you pick it yourself. So treat it gentle and treat it kind. Don't bruise the apple, there's a way to do it. Ooh, it tastes better when it shines, shines, shines. Pick an apple, it'll make you smile. Eat an apple and run a mile with the strength from an apple you Swim the Nile and it tastes so good all the while. Picking apples off the tree. Sixty-three, sixty-nine cents, four for a dollar. That's too much. We just went over our budget. We'll have to put something back. We've got too much meat. Yeah, meat's expensive. Hey, wait a minute. Meat's the food I really like. My dad says that meat's full of protein, and protein's good for us athletes. What about dancers? Don't forget us. Everyone needs protein. When I'm in training, Dad tells me to eat more of everything. That way I get extra protein. That's what our muscles are all made of. How about our skin and hearts? They're made of protein, too. And our eyeballs. And our noses. And our toeses. And our guts. Stop it, Domingo. Well, if meat is full of protein, and protein helps build muscles, then put the meat back in the carton, because I need my muscles. You can get protein from lots of other things, like fish and cheese and eggs. I don't like fish. Meat's the best. How about black-eyed peas and rice? Lots of protein on black-eyed peas and rice, you know. Hey, now you're talking. Let's put the milk back. We can drink something else. Hey, not the milk. Leslie's right. We need milk for our teeth and bones. 
And dancers need good bones. So do athletes. Hey, who put this in here? I thought it looked good. Oh, yeah? Well, listen to this. Hmm. Citric acid, monocalcium phosphite, calcium sulfite, less lecithin. What are all those things? I don't know, but it doesn't sound like food to me. It's probably in there to keep the pie fresh, but I'm not going to eat that until I find out exactly what it is. I'm not going to put that stuff in my body. We can put some of these oranges back. No, keep the oranges. They're good for us. How do you know? What's on that paper you keep reading? Nothing. Come on, we got to start all over again. <laughs> about what you buy. Well, you have to be. Everything is so expensive. And you must have quality as well as quantity. You must take care of what you eat, what you put into your body. If you want to be healthy, you must eat properly. You must have uh, protein and vitamins and minerals. Hmm? If you care about yourself, if, if you take pride in how you look, how you feel, you will not insult yourself by eating poorly. Manuel Rios will not insult you by giving you poor food. <laughs> Be careful! Don't, don't drop the tomatoes! Don't crack the eggs! Eggs, cheese, melon, broccoli, string beans, cucumber. I am very impressed. And no cake or cookies, I see. They were too expensive. I thought we could have the fruit for dessert. I didn't think you could do it, but you kept to your budget and you managed to get food that's good for you. Where did you learn so much about nutrition? Well, Tom told us what we should buy. so much about what we should eat. I don't know. I bet it's got something to do with that paper you were always looking at. Yeah, you were looking at it the whole time while we were in the store. Yeah, what's on that blue paper, Tom? Nothing. There's something. Come on, tell us. Well, it's a list of what you should eat that's good for you. I got it from the nurse so I could stick to my diet. Each week, I get the count menu in advance. Then I take it to Miss Rodriguez, who helps me plan out what I should eat to keep my calories low and my nutrients up. Nutrients? Is that some kind of new bug I haven't heard about? You know what nutrients are. Carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals. Easy proteins. for you to say. Tom, is that on your blue paper, too? Why do you try and keep your diet a secret? Well, I thought you might laugh and say it was dumb. I don't think it was dumb. Yeah, I think it was pretty smart. Hey, did you get your story? Sure did. Did you get yours? Camp cook cares about us kids. No, 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 no. Make that camp chef cares. Hey, Manuel, how about your autograph? Later. Now we have dinner to serve. Very good paper, Leo. All of you should be very proud. Even I learned a lot. Who thought of the idea of the camp starting its own garden to save money? Well, it just seemed natural. Compliments of the chef. Brussels sprouts. Anybody want mine? I don't even want my own. My mother serves them all the time, and I think they're good. How can something that tastes that bad be good for you? They contain iron. If you don't get enough iron, you get tired and irritable. Do we have any volunteers? I volunteer. Anyone else? Ann, Domingo, Tom, Suzanne, Stan, Kathy, and Leslie. He did it again. He did it again. He did it again. He did it again. Hey, reporters, 
if I got a scoop for you. Oh, yeah? What is it? Manuel Rios just quit. Again? Manuel, please come back. We need you. Don't quit. I have had enough. It's too much. I will not come back until then. Oh, Leo. Oh, Leo. He did it again. Hey, gang, let's hear for the five W's. Where are we working? In, In the, the garden. garden. What are we doing? Planting seeds. When are we working? All day. Who's working? Leo! Anne! Tom! Kathy! Stan! Leslie! Suzanne! Domingo! Why are we working? Because, because of Leo! Leo. <laughs> mm.